Today I'm turning Star Wars' Chewbacca into a cake, and not just a kawaii cake, but also a Sith Lord cake. I just imagined what he looked like as a Sith Lord. Hello everyone, my name is JJ Abrams, let's get started. Now to create this cake, like almost all of my standing cakes, I am using my PVC cake pipe system. If you want an in-depth look at how I create this system, there's videos for you on the channel. So I'm using Funfetti and I'm returning to form with just regular Funfetti. No food coloring, just a box cake in all its glory. For Chewbacca, I'm using a three inch half dome cake to create his body. Then I'm using two six inch round cakes to create the middle and the bottom of his head. Then I'm going to top that off with a six inch half dome cake. I wanted him to be a little bit skinnier, so I'm carving away his body. This isn't a lot of cake, you guys. I know, you guys have mentioned that. <laughs> so if you wanted to feed this to a lot of people, you'd probably have to create like an eight inch round cake for the bottom, just so that there's more cake to feed more people. The birthday boy can eat this whole cake if he wants though. After I finished my very small amount of carving, I gave my entire cake a crumb coat, placed it into the fridge, and I started watching some Disney Plus. What was I watching? Return of the Sith. I like this movie a lot. I wish that the guy who played Anakin... Oh, why does he have to be so whiny though? Anakin is just not a likable person, but in the animated show, he's super likable. And it's so different, like you don't, why, why does he act like a child in these two movies, but an adult in the animated movie? However, I do like seeing him turn into Darth Vader. And the idea of watching the Sith return is why I wanted to see what Chewbacca looked like as a Sith Lord. I took my cake out of the fridge and covered the entire bottom of it with some brown fondant. There is a seam, I'm just going to place it at the side of my cake because I know I'm going to cover it with fondant arms and fondant legs. So you won't really see the seam at all. To make this cake a little bit easier on myself, I'm making his arms and his legs with fondant. I was going to do his legs with cake, but there isn't that much cake, so it's no point. Because this is a fondant cake, it was really easy to cover the head. It's not a dome cake, so I didn't have to worry about it puckering on the sides or the bottom. But there are two seams still. You won't see them when I'm done with the cake though. I'm adding just a little bit of texture to my kawaii Chewbacca with a pair of scissors and some fondant tools to make it look like fur. Because this isn't realistic, I didn't have to make that many cuts. I just kind of made like little triangles at the bottom. But for the Sith part, I wanted it to look more manic, so I'm tearing the fondant as well as creating a lot more cuts. After that, I just added a little bit more texture, fur texture, to create Chewbacca's face. I kind of already know where his eyes are going to be and I'm just highlighting the places around where the next piece of fondant is going to be. Now if you want to see more of my Star Wars cakes, I've got a ton. Now if you're looking for awesome party ideas, make sure you check them out. Ooh, look at that. That's a very fancy piece of fondant I got going on. Oh, it's a little too big though, so I gotta cut away some of that extra. Now I'm using some ball fondant tools so that I can create some places for his cute kawaii eyes. They're huge. Then I'm gonna give him some nice thick eyebrows. I wasn't sure like should I make him look mad or angry but it didn't even really matter because no matter what he's gonna look adorable. I tried to make his smile just a little bit crooked. I just love crooked smiles. And then we got catch lights. Now I wasn't really sure what color his eyes were, but I decided to give him blue eyes. I just thought it would look cute against the brown fur. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of detail to his fondant arms as well as his fondant legs. Now 
Now, one thing I really need to add was his artillery belt that just hangs across his chest. Is it an artillery belt or is it just like the strap to his satchel? I don't know. Well, I'm gonna say it's an artillery belt. Once I finished that, it was time to work on the Sith side. Now, Sith always have like a, I don't know, their, their skin is always gross, so I'm imagining that Chewbacca's fur would also be a gross color. So we've got this very muted gray-brown going on to create Chewbacca's Sith limbs. I'm not gonna add too many details because I know that it's gonna be covered with the black robe that a lot of Sith Lords have. You are gonna see a little bit of chest, so I created a little <laughs> chest piece just for him. Ooh, that's a terrible color you got going on on your face. And this is what happens when you don't use Just For Men. You just got a whole bunch of gray on your face for no reason. <laughs> I still wanted this to be a kawaii cake just all the way around. So even though it's a Sith Lord, this is like the cutest Sith Lord you'll ever see. It's the same features on the regular Chewbacca side except the colors are a little bit more dull. And he gets a frown instead of a smile. <laughs> oh man, this looks like a pouty child. But he doesn't even look angry. He just looks like a kid that hasn't had lunch yet. You know, you just get them a McDonald's Happy Meal and they're fine. I'm adding two panels of black font in to create the Sith robe. Yes, look at that. <laughs> Oh my god, oh, it's so funny. <laughs> and all of that fur, that chest fur just like coming out in the middle is hilarious. So you got the right, the left, and I'm gonna give part of his hands sleeves. And just try to make sure that you can't see it on the regular Chewbacca side. So I've got this very oversized piece of black fondant and just like when I'm creating a doll cake, I'm just gonna emphasize the folds to make it look like it's hanging off him. Just cut away the excess. Now I'm going to add two more details to my Sith Chewbacca cake. So first I'm gonna add some wrinkles as well as a little bit of black luster dust to make it look like he hasn't slept in a couple days. And last but definitely not least, his lightsaber. Or, because I couldn't find a tiny lightsaber, a red straw. After that, my kawaii two-faced Chewbacca cake was complete. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. <laughs> the Sith Lord side, yeah. Uh, I don't believe that that guy's dangerous at all. I'm excited for Rise of Skywalker. I read some of the reviews and I'm just gonna go into the movie theater with an open mind knowing that I love not just the films but the animated series that are now all on Disney Plus. This is like a huge plug for Disney Plus because I've just been watching all the Star Wars content on it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I'll see you very soon. Peace!